Recently, we've talked a lot about borderline personality disorder, and I've talked a lot about a specific therapy called DBT, or Dialectical Behavioral Therapy. And a lot of people out there are like, what's that? How does it help borderline personality disorder? Well, that is exactly what we're talking about in this video. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel's all about mental health. So if you are somebody like me who is regularly trying to improve your mental and emotional well-being, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. All right. So I do a lot of videos on borderline personality disorder. I actually have an entire playlist on it. And one of the reasons for that is, is that I have worked with many, many, many people who have borderline personality disorder. Um, back when I was working in a rehab, I still talked to some people who have it. They, you know, message me for like advice or pointing them in the right direction of resources. Cause I'm not a therapist. I'm just like, yo, here's some resources. Um, those of you who can't afford therapy, there are plenty of books out there for one of the best forms of therapy called dialectical behavioral therapy. And like, I think it's really important to understand this therapy. So if you have BPD, give it a try. If you know someone who has BPD, have them give it a try. Because here's the thing, borderline personality disorder can be managed. There is living proof of this. If you look in the comments of some of my recent videos, you will see people discuss how their BPD has become something that's under their control and they are no longer, you know, having, you know, these, these massive relationship problems or massive life problems. But BPD is one of the most highly stigmatized disorders out there. Um, one of the best descriptions I've heard of BPD is that they are like emotional burn victims, right? So like a regular burn victim, you touch, it's very sensitive. This is how the emotions are for someone who has borderline personality disorder, but there are things that they can do to work on these things. And dialectical behavioral therapy, it's great for a lot of people. Like I've taken some of these lessons and uh, from DBT and implemented them in my own life because they help. A lot of us struggle with these things even if we don't have a diagnosed disorder. All right, so one of the, the first DBT skills, one of the core concept of DP, DBT is mindfulness, okay? So if you know somebody with borderline personality disorder or you are somebody with borderline personality disorder, one of the most difficult symptoms is uh, impulse control, right? One of the other difficult symptoms is emotional regulation. So the emotions, they flare up, right? They are these extremes of emotions. So you combine this problem with emotional regulation and impulse control, and it becomes a major issue. One of my favorite quotes of all time comes from Viktor Frankl. He is a psychologist who actually was in a concentration camp and he wrote a book called Man's Search for Meaning. Well, anyways, one of the quotes from Viktor Frankl says, between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom, all right? So between stimulus and response, there's a space, okay? So when we get triggered, when our emotions go off and they flare up, right? There's this space, there's this little gap in there where we get to choose our response and that's what mindfulness is. This is why it is such an important skill for people struggling with borderline personality disorder because of that impulsiveness, because of, you know, flying off the handle. This is one of the reasons why it's so difficult for people with BPD to hold these relationships, all right? But the next skill in dialectical behavioral therapy is distress tolerance skills. So again, using that emotional burn victim analogy, right? It is easy to get distress. And this is why a lot of people, unfortunately, don't understand borderline personality disorder, okay? Like, they don't understand, like, just because that same situation wouldn't have affected you, it will affect somebody who has borderline personality disorder. It is easy for them to get very distressed, and that's where we need to have some empathy. But 
with dialectical behavioral therapy for borderline personality disorder, one of the core skills is learning how to get through these stressful situations, whether it's difficulties at a job, whether it's difficulties in a relationship, whatever it is, kind of like these, these internal like soothing methods, okay? Because as anybody who has BPD or has worked with somebody or you know knows somebody with BPD, that that reaction to the distress can cause some wreckage and some difficulties. Like we talk about black and white thinking with borderline personality disorder, like that that intense feeling of that fear of abandonment, that can be very stressful. And then it turns into this, this outward action, whether it's screaming at somebody or running away or diving into those impulsive behaviors, which are usually self-destructive, whether it's uh, uh, substance abuse, promiscuity, sometimes it's self-harming behavior. So DBT teaches you how to learn, uh, how to deal with those situations, all right? So the next skill of dialectical, be uh, dialectical behavioral therapy is interpersonal effectiveness skills, okay? So people with BPD, it is very hard for them to maintain relationships, right? Whether it's with significant others, whether it's with friends, whether it's with family members, uh, could be coworkers, could be bosses, could be, pff, could be people on the street. If you work in retail, maybe it's dealing with customers, right? So these interpersonal effectiveness skills, they are about learning how to have healthy communications, right? Um, part of like, you know, the distress tolerance is learning to step back and recognize your thoughts, right? What are you feeling right now? Is it this fear of abandonment? Where is this coming from? See, one of the things I love about mindfulness is so many of us are experiencing these emotions and we don't know what they are. We don't even take a second to address what they are. So when we work on developing that pause button, right? When we pause, then we can chill and have that conversation with somebody, okay? Because <clears throat> sometimes people with BPD are made to think like, Oh, you're just you're just completely out of it. Like you don't even realize what's going on. You're always doing this, right? Like for people with BPD, not only is that experience extremely real, right? But a lot of times those those feelings and emotions are valid. The problem is is that they go to this extreme and they cause these destructive behaviors, okay? So although you may be feeling something valid, like if you're in a relationship and your partner is doing some whack stuff, right? Like your feelings may be very valid, but you're never going to resolve that conflict if you can't learn how to have healthy communication, all right? So the last DBT skill is emotional regulation skills, okay? So I've discussed this in other videos. Like the way I look at emotional regulation, okay? Like is on a scale where zero's in the middle, you got plus 10, you got minus 10, right? So most people, most people, when they experience a, an emotion, even at its extreme, right? It's It goes between zero and like five or six, right? And then a negative emotion, it goes from like zero to negative five or six. But one of the things that most people have due to emotional regulation, right, is they're able to bounce back and get back to that, that place, that baseline, all right? So think of it like uh, one of those like um, Sockham, old school Sockham dolls with the, the sand at the bottom, right? Like with people with borderline personality disorder, it's a lot harder to get back to that middle. So it's like hitting one of those dolls is like wop, 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 where somebody with a, a, a kind of normal emotional regulation, it just kind of goes and it goes back to middle, right? But aside from that, people with borderline personality disorder, rather than hitting like a plus five or minus five, it goes to like 10 on both sides, right? They're not just happy, they're ecstatic, right? They don't just get sad, they're depressed. They don't just like somebody, they fall in love some with somebody. They don't just get a little bit upset or annoyed, they get pissed, okay? So in DBT, you learn how to regulate those emotions and also return back to that center, that baseline, even quicker, all right? So if you're somebody who struggles with borderline personality disorder or you know somebody who struggles with borderline personality disorder, again, I am not a licensed professional, but I try to provide people with resources. What I would recommend 
is finding a therapist who either A, specializes in borderline personality disorder, or B, specializes in dialectical behavioral therapy. Um, the, the best way to find a therapist is typically through your insurance company. Call them, ask them if they have a list of therapists. I'm not sure if all insurance companies will say like, oh, this therapist specializes in this. Sometimes you'll have to get the list of therapists, then do a little research. A lot of therapists have websites. A lot of them are on social media. It's 2020, so everybody is. You can also talk to your doctor as well. Um, I've done some videos in the past, like some people talk to their doctors about this because there are some medications that can help with BPD, such as antidepressants, anti-anxiety, mood stabilizers, and things like that. But your doctor might be able to recommend a therapist or a psychologist. Lastly, you can always try online therapy, especially in this time of social distancing. I personally use a, an app. Um, it's also a website called BetterHelp Online Therapy. I have an amazing therapist. She um, knows all about the therapy that I personally like, which is REBT, Rational Emotive Behavioral Therapy. So if you would like to try out BetterHelp Online Therapy, there's a link in the description and in the pinned comment, and it's an affiliate link. So basically you get affordable online therapy and a little bit comes back to help support the channel. All right. But anyways, share this with somebody who you think might benefit from DBT. But that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel over on Patreon, as well as everybody who supports the channel by buying my books at TheRewiredSoul.com, as well as the Rewired Soul merch, like this shirt with my girlfriend's adorable cat, Wyatt. All right. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.